And elsewhere, the Adamawa State Government, in collaboration with the World Bank's Northeast Multisectoral Crisis Recovery Project, has distributed farm inputs to over 40,000 households. This initiative aims to enhance food security across the country. Gibson Swadugo reports. The beneficiaries, mainly women and youth, are expected to rejuvenate the agricultural sector amid economic hardship faced by farming communities. The agricultural livelihood support provided by the multi-sectoral crisis recovery project include solar-powered mini-irrigation pumps for the seeds, organic fertilizers, insecticides, sprayers, and planters, among others. Governor Ahmed Murfintri, represented by his deputy, Professor Kale Tapo Farauta, stated that the flag of distribution of this vital agricultural livelihood support marks a significant milestone in revitalizing Adama State's economic growth and improving the welfare of its citizens. In addition to the support rendered by the NCRP and other allied entities, our government has initiated several other programs aimed at bolstering agricultural productivity with the overarching goal of ensuring the prosperity of our farmers. These initiatives are in alignment with our administration's hallmark philosophy of ensuring that no one is left behind and nothing is left untouched. In his remarks, Dr. Maurice Vunobolki, state coordinator of the MCRP, revealed that the support aims to boost agricultural production and enhance the value chain for 40,000 households through 1,000 cooperative societies. Dr. Vunobolki stated that the distribution includes complete mini mechanized farm tools and certified seeds for maize, rice, and soybeans. Our first intervention that came through the original financing specifically was targeted towards the northern part of Adamawa State and where Boko Haram directly affected those communities. And this set of intervention that is called the additional finance now targets both those affected and those affected by displacement. Serene Kavichi, Cortax team leader and head of the Northeast Operation World Bank, said the bank is looking into making the intervention more sustainable in the state. Gibson Soadgo, Trust TV News, Yola.